Hi, I'm Carolyn Evans Hammond and welcome to my tasting room. Carolyn's Tasting Room is where you can taste exciting wines with me and tonight we feature something a little bit different. It's a flight of no and low elk beverages including two wines and one ready to drink cocktail. They include the non-vintage Audbird Blanc de Blanc from France in the 200ml size, the 2022 Mezzacrona Naturally Light Pinot Grigio from Italy, and the H2 Spiritless Hibiscus Gin and Tonic in a slimline can. Let's taste. So the first wine in our flight is actually a non-alcoholic Blanc de Blanc, so pure Chardonnay from France. It's from Oddbird and I think you're going to like it. So pour yourself a glass and let's taste together. First in the glass, notice the color. There is some depth of color here. We do know this spent about 12 months aging before it was released. So, um, so it's probably a little color from that. Also the process. If you look inside, you can see a persistent stream of bubbles and the bubbles are nice and fine, nice and small, which is a mark of quality, delicacy, and it's really reflected well on the palate. You'll notice it's sort of a, a moussey, almost creamy texture from that, which I really like. So on the nose, isn't that lovely? Yes, this is Chardonnay, and you can tell because it's varietally correct. It smells like apple. You smell that? Very pure, very articulate, very precise, and exactly what we want. There's also a little bit of buttered brioche or something. Do you get that too? I certainly do. And a little bit of a honeyed note, which I like. Now, one of the things about this particular bottle is it's, you know, it is zero alcohol but it has a little bit of residual sugar to make it balanced as well as the acidity. So I think we're gonna notice this on the palate. Have a sip and let's see how, let's first just experience it and see what it tastes like. Mmm, do you like that? Oh, it's so delicious. It's quenching, it's mouth filling, it's, there's a verticality there that lends elegance, which is great. It's refreshing, the palate is scraped clean, beautiful balance, and do you notice that mousse-like quality from the, from the fine effervescence? I do, and I really like that. So let's have a quick taste, taste it technically. Bright mouth-watering acidity, immediately quenching, yes. That residual sugar is there on the palate, on the, noticed on the tip of the tongue, but it's balancing all the other components beautifully, and that's, the balance that you need in a wine with no alcohol because alcohol is a structural component. You remove it, you need to really pay attention to balance and they've, they've nailed it with this. This is why I like it so much. And another interesting fact is I did the caloric count on this and it's actually about 36 calories for the whole 200 ml bottle. If you had a 200 ml bottle of champagne at say 12% alcohol and eight grams per liter, a brute style of champagne, it would clock 140 calories for the same size bottle. So you're looking at, you know, quite a low calorie count for this and yet refreshing drink. So if you're looking for something like that, this is your, this is your bottle. And the second wine in our lineup is the 2022 Mezzacrona Naturally Light Pinot Grigio with 9% alcohol. It's right on the front label, so it is a lower alcohol choice. And you know, a Pinot Grigio tends to, it tends to naturally clock sort of between 12 and 13% alcohol, so you are saving um, right there. So pour yourself a glass and let's taste. In the glass, great color, I mean, shiny, bright, and it just looks like your ordinary Pinot Grigio in that it's pale straw and clear and bright, so stable, everything we wanna see. Give it a swirl and let's have a nose. That's lovely. Now that, that smells perfect, exactly what you want in a Pinot Grigio. So it's, you know, you're getting a little bit of sea spray this does come from the Dolomite region, which has that stoniness in the terroir. 
that's reflected in the glass, but you're also getting that lemon zest and lime zest and a little bit here of apricot, I think sort of white apricot. So nice, refreshing. It smells like something you want to enjoy just all the time. So it's sort of a great little, great little wine that works as a cocktail, but works really well with all you, you know, all those foods you want to eat at the table, everything. Though my favorite with this is pan roasted fish and steamed vegetables. Beautiful and so great this time of year. So let's have a taste and see what it's like on the palate. Hmm, isn't that great? Streams in liquid light, sheer, but really, you know, really well balanced. There's that wonderful spike of acidity that makes your whole mouth taste like it's flooded with light and everything tastes round and complete. Nothing is sticking out. There's no rough edges, so no shrill acidity. The sugar is there, but you cannot taste it. And that's because it's so well balanced and perfect tension with that high acid. It tastes a little round, really, um, sort of polished in the mouth, which I like, that glossy mouthfeel. And yet it's scraped clean on the finish, which leaves your palate, um, you know, dry and ready to enjoy whatever you're going to have with this. In fact, do you notice the palette, your palette, is a little bit seasoned with what tastes a little bit like crushed seashell or something like that? Nice, right? That is the mark of a good quality Pinot Grigio. You'll have that and it'll linger and it leaves it a little bit saline too and you're ready to eat. It's one of the reasons Pinot Grigio makes us, you know, works so well at the table because it makes you, um, makes your mouth water, makes you ready to eat. Speaking of which, yes, this goes with fish and vegetables, but you could really pour it with everything. And I think it's a really good choice this time of year, especially if you're looking to reduce alcohol a little bit. And the third drink in our flight is a ready to drink cocktail in a tall slim can. Now this is H2 Spiritless Hibiscus Gin and Tonic. It's a de-alcoholized gin and tonic and I really like it. So pour yourself a glass and let's see if you do too. So notice the color first. The color I love because it's glowy. Do you notice that? It's sort of a, a pale pink but it, it's very transparent and it's glowy in the glass. Love that. It's also effervescent. You can see the bubbles and on the nose. Isn't that great? It's so aromatic. So we're getting, we're getting the juniper from the gin. This is made from dealkalized gin, a, a hibiscus gin that H2 makes, as well as a hibiscus. Now hibiscus, I always associate with this sort of floral green, sort of sea spray aroma, very complex. Um, and it's all there. You notice that? Also lime zest and maybe a hint of cucumber. So it's a sophisticated aroma and I like that because complexity is something, you know, that's really valued, valued in the cocktail world and the drinks world and the wine world because it's cerebral and I like that. So let's have a taste and see how it, see how it is on the palate. Mm. streams in beautifully balanced, very understated. So everything is there, it's fanning out and there's, there's an arc because it, it goes in first very floral, dry, saline almost. And then as it, you know, as it expands and amplifies, you're getting the juniper and lime. And then as it, you know, tapers to the finish. It goes back to sort of savory notes of stone and a little bit of, you know, bitter lime zest. And that bitter note calls to mind tonic, doesn't it? It's lovely. So this is the kind of drink, now this is the kind of drink that will, will appeal to those who are looking for no alcohol, as well as no sugar, because it's zero alcohol and zero sugar. And this is a, you know, it's not, it's not bone dry though. There is a little bit of sweetness and that comes from monk fruit. So there's a little bit of that and it's I think 10 calories per can or something, you see? Yes, 
10 calories a can, so also low in calorie. Now, we did taste this without ice because it's easier to taste, you know, technically when there's no deep chill. But to enjoy it on its own, you know, cocktail style, you're gonna wanna serve it with ice and ratchet up the refreshment factor and whoop, my ice is sticking together. But, you know, that's really going to make a difference too. And it's a kind of drink that's really affordable too because, is that, mm, is that great? Oh yeah. Um, it's a kind of drink that's very affordable because a can costs $2.50. So it's a great buy. The, the Blanc de Blanc we tasted costs just shy of seven and the Mezza Corona Naturally Light costs about $15. So the whole range is also, you know, budget conscious. So you can still enjoy dry January or moderate alcohol on a budget and live well. So there you have it. If you're practicing dry January or are just looking for a delicious drink without a lot of calories, sugar or alcohol, these all fit the bill and you've got range. Which one did you like best? Let me know, message me, and don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm coming right back with another flight of delicious wines and more here on Carolyn's Tasting Room so you can drink better and learn how.